everybody! My name is Robin and welcome to my channel, Bird's Eye Stitches. This is a channel about cross-stitch, so if you are new here, then welcome. I hope you are here because you have a love of cross-stitch like I do. And if you're returning, still welcome. I still hope you are here because you have a love of cross-stitch like I do. So today is Sunday. It is August 28th and this is video number 36. Now, video number 35 was filmed, I don't know, a while ago in a different location. I will do life updates at the end of the video, but spoiler alert, I have purchased a home. I am in the new home. This is it. And this will be the new cross stitch room slash home office. So you're going to see the backdrop of this change quite a bit because like the rest of the house, it is a work in progress, but it is a beautiful home that I am so thankful for. And it is a place for me to set up roots and get back into stitching, back into filming, back into connecting with all of you and really just kind of get back into life. So more on that at the end. For now, we will talk about stitching. I have not been doing a whole heck of a lot of stitching because, well, moving in life, but I have done some in the last few weeks and I have lots planned to do in September. So I want to go over, I've got a finish, I've got a new couple new starts, and then we'll go over plans for AB Singo, which is coming up in September in the Magazine Monthly Challenge group. Very excited for that. A tiny little bit of haul, and then we'll do life updates at the end. So okay, jump right into it. All right, first up is a finish. I went on vacation a little while back, and the vacation was a road trip, and I, I didn't I didn't think to bring a cross stitch piece because I don't know, I just didn't. Uh, but I really was feeling the call to work on something. So uh, when I'm on a road trip, I get car sick pretty easily. So I have to work on something that is like, I don't know, like a 14 count Ada or a Mill Hill kit. And then something with blocks of colors. Like I can't, I can't bead, I can't do anything super fancy because I have to be able to look at the road while I'm stitching. Not because I'm driving, but because I get car sick. So with that in mind, I stopped over at Michael's. We picked up a Dimensions Learn a Craft. I already knew the craft, still learning a little bit every day, but it looks like this. And I did not finish this while on vacation, but I finished it a few weeks ago. And it looks like this. This is obviously a kit. So it is on a 14 count Ada with the called for, I don't know, DMC, fake DMC, cotton, something colors, but they're super pretty. Uh, the lighting in this room, it leaves a lot to be desired, to be honest, but uh, the color is coming up really nice on the piece. So this is pretty true to color. It is a pineapple. It is very sweet. Hence the word sweet. My plan for this guy, uh, it's this is the thing I would typically stitch, but I do like the colors. Um, I'm not going to frame it. I'm probably going to actually put this in a scrapbook. I see a lot of you guys that do scrapbooking for your, your finished smalls or a junk book. No, that's not the right word. Uh, a junk journal. So I picked up some stuff to make my own version of a junk journal. And I thought it would be fun to put this in there or scrapbook it with some other little pieces of my vacation. I don't know. You all know I never get around to finishing things, but I'm hoping to start. So stay tuned on this guy. Uh, if you heard that noise, that would be the air conditioning. When the air conditioning turns on in this room, it is like, it makes this really loud poppy noise. Part of the quirks of the house. I'm just happy to have air conditioning because I'm in Arizona and it's like 110 degrees out right now. So carry on AC. Hopefully you can hear me okay. All right, um, that was the only finish that I've had. I have had a couple new starts. So this is the first new start. I am stitching this one for a friend of mine who loves raccoons. So this is just, it's just a little tiny chart that I got off of Etsy and I will have it next time around. I, I sort of prepared for this, but then in the preparation, I started thinking maybe I might not film it. So I stopped that and I just gathered all my stuff. And so here we are. Um, I will have this chart ready 
to show you guys on the next video. But you kind of get the idea. Uh, it's a raccoon. So I started it. It looks like this so far. This raccoon is being stitched on a piece of, move this piece of fabric here. There we go. All right, so this is being stitched on a piece of 28 count white Lugana. And it is just with DMC that I had in my stash. It's a super simple little piece. It should not take all that long to stitch. And actually now that I'm holding it up this way, it's looking more like a frog, which tells me I have it upside down. There we go. Okay, now you can see it will be a raccoon at some point. So a little raccoon head will go here and this will go into a card for a friend of mine. Hoping to have this one finished in the next week or so. All right, uh, my next new start. I am using this piece to stitch on the, oh, what is the name of the Facebook group? Hold on, I did write this one down. So uh, on the Facebook group, it's called Cross Stitch 25-7. It was developed by Melanie Watkins, who is the Soulful Stitcher. She's fantastic. She's a great human. I love her videos. Um, and she had a great idea. She created a cross stitch group. The idea is to stitch either 25 minutes or 25 stitches per night. So I started this piece in August and I would say I've probably stitched on this maybe maybe 10 days or so so not very many but i'm at least kind of back in back in the swing of things so we'll see uh, but i i am enjoying stitching it quite a bit and if you can't tell i'm sort of stalling so i'm trying to find the picture there it is okay so this is barbara anna designs it's called funky bird it will eventually look something like this something similar to this anyway I am stitching it with, I have basically my own versions of DMC. It's, I'm trying to stitch from stash a little bit because I have a lot of stash, which you really find out that you have a lot of stash whenever you're moving. So uh, I am stitching it with called for and my own DMC conversions. But started it in August. We are here. It kind of looks like a ghost, a ghost with a flower but eventually it's going to be a funky bird. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to stitch the entire alphabet that goes along with it, but um, we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling when I get to that part. I'm gonna start with the bird and go from there. So funky bird, this is being stitched on a piece of, let's see, it says a 32 count even weave by Fortnite Fabrics. The color is I don't know what it says. I'm just gonna hold up this card because I can't quite read the handwriting on it. And sorry for the crinkling. It's in a little baggie here. It's like Christmas. Okay. So this is the card. Let's see if this will work. It's a really pretty fabric, but it looks like it says Valahari, Valahari, I don't know, but it's a pretty close match to the called for. It's really pretty. I like the variegation to it and I love the colors on it. So this is where we're at so far with Funky Bird. I'm going to be pulling this one out all through the month of September. I really am going to try very hard to work. If I can't get 25 minutes, Maybe I can get 25 stitches in. Uh, to be honest, I'm kind of a slow stitcher, so it's a little bit similar. Uh, like in 25 minutes, I got like, you know, this little section here. And because you're trying to count and whatnot, you just, I don't get very far. Uh, 25 minutes, I think I did one chunk of this flower. So it'll be slow progress, but at least it'll be progress. And I'm excited to see how many days it takes to finish this whole piece. So more to come on that in the next video. All right, uh, I'll be working on those two up until September. And then come September, 
The Magazine Monthly Challenge group, it is a group on Facebook that I run with my friend Carolyn from Sea Silk Stitch. She, uh, she kind of created this thing called AB Singo. I think this is our third time around. Uh, it was a huge hit and so now it's something that we really do try to keep up and running uh, twice a year. So the idea behind AB Singo is you create a bingo board. You put, uh, there's 26 letters in the alphabet. We eliminate one of the letters. And so you can put 25 letters onto your bingo board. Every night we call one letter. So we call the letter the day before. That gives you time to kind of plan and know what you're gonna work on the next day. But uh, yeah, so you have 25 letters. You can use your imagination to put each piece in with the letter and you can kind of make it fit. But the idea is to do either 100 stitches or one hour of stitching on each of the letters. And then at the end, you see how many bingos or blackouts you get and it's a great time. So my plans for AB Singo, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, six pieces that I have put in for all the letters of the alphabet. Uh, I say all the letters, but we did eliminate H. It was my turn to choose the letter that we eliminate. I came up with H because, well, uh, Carolyn had texted me and said, hey, get me your letter today so we can go ahead and put out the AB Singo, you know, the, the flyers and all of that jazz because Carolyn is a fantastic planner and she has all that stuff ready to go. So I was making guacamole when she sent me that message. Uh, my dad and my stepmom were coming to visit and see the house. I was going to make some guacamole and I was chopping up a ha jalapeno and saw the thing on my phone looked at that and then made the mistake of touching my eye after chopping a jalapeno. I know better, you all know better. Don't do that. Um, my eyes are burning and I was like, curse the jalapeno, right? And so because I was anti-jalapeno, I was like, we're not stitching the letter H. Even though I'm well aware that jalapeno starts with J, uh, the H noise was in my brain and I was like, no H. And I realized that that was going to eliminate like Hawk Run Hollows and a Halloween. Uh, H is a very easy letter to put into an acrostic because like all kinds of things fit into the letter H. So I was like, that's perfect because number one, I'm grumpy at the jalapeno. And number two, uh, H, taking that out will make it more of a challenge. So the H was removed. 25 letters, no letter H. All the rest of the alphabet is in the bingo board, which I will show you my bingo board next time around. Right now, I just wanna show you the pieces. So, without further ado, the six pieces I'm going to stitch on. Uh, the first one is Hark. And these are all pieces that you guys have seen before. They're ones that I pulled out of my stash because I really want to get these things finished. Uh, they're either close to a finish or something I feel I can finish in a relatively short period of time, except for one. So, first one is Hark. It is on a 40 count gauze, and it is a kit that I got from my local LNS, uh, the needlework, or the attic needle workshop. Yes, the attic. All right, one day it's gonna look something like this. I had no idea it was on a 40 count gauze. I didn't know what I was getting myself into, but we are here. Hark. 40 count, I'm stitching it over one, because I'm crazy, or there. I am going to be using this for the letters A, G, S, and T, and I will go over why I chose those letters as we draw them and I give the updates in the future videos. So to keep this video from being like three hours long, heart will be A, G, S, and T. So working on that one. Hopefully I will not go blind. I cannot say that I'm loving the 40 count gauze, but it's something different. It will be beautiful one day and it will go up on the wall for Christmas time. So look forward to that. All right, the next one that I will be stitching, uh, this one is in my Peter Pan Garan bag. This is one of my very favorites. This, where that one was a Christmas piece, this one is a Halloween piece. It is called The Wise Old Witch by The Little Stitcher looks like this. 
I am stitching this one on a 20 count even weave in the color Lilac Swirl. I'm not exactly sure where I picked it up from, but it's been in my stash for some time. And I am stitching this one in DMC 154. So it's a very dark purple. Okay, we are here. You can tell that the color is coming through pretty good. Uh, it does have a little bit of a swirl to it, but it's very light. It's a very muted purple. And the DMC color, DMC 154, I believe it is, yes, it's a very deep purple. So it's not quite black. It's going to be a dark purple on a lighter purple. Ada. So hope to make some good progress on that. Uh, this one will be stitched for the letters C, F, L, O, and W. The Wise Old Witch by The Little Stitcher. This one's a pretty quick piece with it just being one color, so I hope to make some really good progress on that one. In fact, if I could have that one done by Halloween, that would be amazing. All right, uh, the next one is an actual magazine piece. This one is in another adorable Garon bag. Looks like this. And I just realized I didn't even mean to do this. I don't really match my bags with my pieces, but uh, this one is Cozy Animals, and those are some Cozy Animals on the front. It is being stitched from Cross Stitch Crazy. I'm trying to see which one this is. Maybe issue number 22, maybe. Cross Stitch Crazy, it looks like this. It's an oldie. And let's see. Page 58, it says, there it is. Okay, I am stitching these guys. They are cozy critters. I'm not stitching them to be ornaments. I'm stitching them on a piece of Ada. It is a piece of pewter 16 count Ada from Picture This Plus. And you can see I have already finished the polar bear I am going to be working on the penguin. So I'll be working on the penguin for this challenge. And this one will be the letters D, I, M, and P. So I started, I'm here. I have a long ways to go. Eventually it'll be adorable like this one here. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. Maybe I will make them into ornaments, but I should be able to fit all four of them on this one small piece. So that's exciting. All right, next up, I'm making my little pile over here. Uh, next up is Scatter Kindness. I have this one in just some random little bag I picked up at, I think Barnes and Noble, many, many, many moons ago. Many moons. Uh, Scatter Kindness is by Hin Hinsight? Hinsight? You know what I'm talking about. It will look like this. And I don't, I'm stitching with the call for colors, uh, the call, call for DMC conversion anyway. And I don't know what fabric this is. Um, I'll have to go back and look at an old video. It looks like a 28 count, but I don't know what color. So, all right, we are here. This is the one, I don't know if you guys remember this, uh, a long time ago when I started this, I started stitching on it upside down and backwards because I thought that the S, I just, this whole thing has been upside down and backwards. So it turns out the same though in the end, as long as you're following the pattern, in the end it will say scatter kindness. So I hope to be able to finish this one as well because I am stitching on this one for B, E, A, and V, like Victor. So I won't finish it in four hours, but I hope to keep this one in the rotation after AB Singo because I'll be really close. Uh, that S is almost done, and then I literally just have these guys to go. So I say literally, they'll probably take me a little while because there is some backstitch in there, but um, it'll be a nice one to put up on the wall one day. So that's Scatter Kindness. All right, and then last but not least, uh, this is one that will definitely not be done during AB Singo. I have a long ways to go on it in another Garon bag because I love my Garon bags. And 
This one is a long dog sampler. It is called the Pilgrim. It will one day look something like this. And I have to find out what I'm stitching this on because I wrote it down, but it's somewhere amongst the boxes. Uh, I know that I'm stitching it in DMC Blanc, just regular old white, because I had like 50 skeins of it for some reason. So we're gonna stitch it in white and it is on, I don't know, I feel like this might be a 36 count. I am here. So clearly I have a long ways to go. Will not be done for AB Singo, but I am going to be stitching on it for the letters, quite a few of them. J, Q, V, X, Y, and Z. Basically I was like, what do I still have room to stitch on? I want to work on this, so let's make it fit within the acrostic. So I am here and we will see how far I get. All right, uh, that is it for plans. Uh, like I said, in the month of September, it'll be AB Singo. I will still be working on my cross stitch 25 seven piece, which is the funky bird. Basically I'll pull that one out first and then I will work on my AB Singo pull and we'll see if I can get some finishes going. I'm not doing any more new starts right now until I get a couple finishes. I am still doing a little bit of shopping, a little bit because, well, I bought a house, so my budget is like a little bit. Uh, but the haul that I have to show you is actually a gift from my friend Carolyn. It was a housewarming slash birthday gift because my birthday was in the month of August. So I will show you that. Uh, we have a... Mill Hill kit. It is called Home is a Shelter. It is adorable. I absolutely love it. After I finish something, I will be immediately starting this. So it says, this home is a shelter for those we hold dear, wishing peace to all who enter here. Very beautiful. I love the colors. I love the, the phrase. Uh, I love all of it. So she sent me this. And because she knows I am horrible at fully finishing and framing. Uh, she sent me the frame that it goes in, so I will be able to stitch it, frame it, put it up on the wall, boom. Yes, thank you, Carolyn. This will immediately go into my whip pile. I just need one finish. Even if it's the raccoon, it still counts. So I'm excited to work on this. Uh, it looks like it actually did not come, you know, normally Mill Hill comes on that, uh, perforated paper, which I actually like, uh, but this one didn't. This one came on, I don't know what this is on. Let's see, a 28 count linen. So, and it's in a really pretty color. It's like a greenish color. So, so that'll be exciting. Okay, and then she also sent me a bird piece because birds, uh, the wall behind me, it will be a bird wall. It will happen. We are in the home. I need a bird wall. I have a million cross stitch pieces with birds. Yes. All of you guys are stitching birds and you have a bird wall and they're glorious. I need to get on board. I'm excited to get on board. Okay, this is one that will go up there. It is called Blue Tits Chickadees by something French. Oh, it's published by the Creative Poppy. So looks like this. How cute is she? How beautiful are these birds? And you guys know that I love anything with white, white and gray, gorgeous. So thank you, Carolyn. I cannot wait to stitch this and put it up on the soon to be bird wall. Okay, that about wraps it up. So if you don't care about life updates, then that is a-okay with me. Thank you so much for coming and watching my channel and watching my videos. Uh, I will put some links to both the Magazine Monthly Challenge on Facebook if you'd like to join, as well as the Cross Stitch 25-7, which is um, run by the Soulful Stitcher. That's a great group, great group of people on that. And so that's all I have for stitching. Okay, uh, life updates. So obviously I have purchased a home in the home. I'm still in Arizona and um, this home is gorgeous and beautiful, but there's a little bit of work to do. So uh, you will see the backdrop of this room change quite a bit. Uh, I actually painted 
whatever this is called, wainscoting, wainscoting. Uh, it was pink, so I have now painted it white. And the wallpaper going on up top, uh, it's interesting looking, but I don't really like it. So uh, that's coming down and it will be replaced with something else. It will also be the bird wall in the near future. So you will see that bird slash cross stitch finish piece wall uh, just for inspiration because I also work in this room. So uh, when I work from home, I have my desk set up, which is what I'm filming on right now. It's got monitors, all that jazz. And it would be really nice whenever I have to do meetings and Zoom calls and all of that stuff to be able to look behind myself and see cross stitch. Yes. Um, along with the new home. So uh, I talked about this a little bit in the last video. Uh, in the last few months, six months-ish or so, uh, well, the last year, really. So I've gotten a new job. So I have a new job, which is amazing and fantastic. I did get a divorce. So the divorce is finalized and done. Paperwork is signed. Um, that's all really, truly a positive thing. My ex, he's a fantastic human. He's just not my human. And we have a great parenting plan with our daughter. We have a one week on, one week off. She gets two homes. They're somewhat close together. The school stuff is all worked out. And now she just has two homes and we'll hopefully see two families full of love in her future. So I can't ask for anything better in that department, but that is done. It is finalized, another hallelujah. And I was able to get a home, which we're in, get roots down. I do not want to move like ever again, ever again. This is going to be where I retire and do all the things. If I want to go somewhere, I will vacation. Uh, in fact, there's a furniture hauler thing sitting behind me because I'm still moving stuff around. So um, that's been a lot of big changes. Uh, for those of you who are my friends on Facebook, I had a dog, his name was Dipper, and unfortunately he passed away a few months ago. He was very old. We rescued him as an old dog to begin with. He had a lot of health problems and he lived out his last few years with us. Fantastic dog, but it was definitely his time to go. Um, he was suffering from a lot of, uh, like he had some heart problems and then he started to have seizures and his quality of life was just not great. So it was his time. Uh, but now fast forward a couple of months, uh, we are in a new home and my daughter, she fell in love with a puppy. The puppy is a Havanese and she is adorable. She's like eight weeks old, so she's super teeny tiny, super puppy. Um, I always said I do not want to have any more kids. Here I am with a puppy. It's just like having a kid. Uh, you know, she sleeps in a crate with me in my room and she wakes me up every two hours, which I'm thankful she's waking me up to pee, but it is like every two hours we are peeing and all day long she is playing and yes. So I will get a video with me and Squatch, that is her name. I will take a video of that. If I can't figure out how to push it together with this one, I'll just throw it up there as like an extra or maybe I'll put it on the Facebook group, maybe both. I don't know. You will see her very soon. Uh, eventually when I film, she will film with me in here, but while we're potty training and this room is carpet and puppy plus potty training plus carpet, not a good idea. Uh, also, she eats everything. So again, not quite a good idea yet, but it's coming. So yeah, I think that that is about it. Um, yeah, new puppy, new house, new job, all the things, and just getting settled and back into the swing of my everyday life. So whatever my everyday life looks like, I am thankful for it and thankful for all of you guys. And I'm looking forward to getting back to stitching, back to filming, and that's it. So if you are still here, thank you so much for watching. Happy stitching, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.